So I know it's been a long time, but here is the LOL doll body we're going to make today. And then we're going to, in a separate video, make the eyes, hair, accessories, clothing for each of the different LOLs. Uh, whatever I choose, Punk Boy will be first, and then we'll see where we go from there. So, join me, won't you? <laughs> get right into making this doll because there are a lot of steps and we don't want this video to be super long so we're gonna start with the supply list the first thing you'll need is worsted weight yarn and it depends on which LOL doll you're making as to what color it'll be uh, this one is peach you can also use beige, brown, whatever color matches the LOL doll that you're going to do. You'll need a G hook. It's a 4.25 or any hook that gives you that tight crochet enough to put stuffing in where you don't see any of the holes. A yarn needle just to weave in ends and Sew a little bit of detail. Stitch marker. I don't know if you have the fancy ones. I just use a piece of yarn that contrasts with the main yarn I'm using. Scissors. Um, Self-explanatory. And stuffing. Uh, yeah, that's it for supplies. Let's get into the crochet next. Okay, we're going to attach our skin tone yarn to our hook and the first thing we'll do is chain two and then six SC in the second chain from the hook. We'll be crocheting in the round all the way through and we're starting at the top of the head. The next thing we're going to do is put two SC in each stitch around for 12 stitches altogether. I'm going to insert my stitch marker so I know where I'm going. And we're going to do one stitch in the next, one SC in the next, and then two SC in the second. And we're going to alternate like that, one and then two, all the way around for 18 stitches. I'm going to put a stitch marker in again. This time we're going to do two SC and then a double, or two. So one, two, so, in e so one each in the next two stitches, and then two in the third stitch. One, two. So one, and then one again, and then two in this next. This will give us a total of 24 stitches around. And you guessed it, the next one will be SC in the next three stitches. One. Two. Three and then two SC in the next stitch. And we'll repeat that pattern all the way around for 30 stitches. This next row is a little bit different than what we've been doing for the increases. We will start by putting two SCs in each of the next three stitches. So two in this one, one, 
two, two in the next one, for three, four, and two in the next one, for five, and six. Then we're going to single crochet around in the next 12 stitches. Just single crochet. And then we're going to repeat that again until we get to the end. And it will equal 36 stitches. Purpose for doing the increases like we are is because an LOL doll head is a little more puffy, kind of squarish than perfectly round. So we're trying to increase on both sides to make it kind of more like the LOL dolls. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to 2SC in each of the next two stitches. So one, two, and then two in the next one. Four, three, four, and then we're going to put one SC in each of the next 16 stitches, and then we're going to repeat that increase in the next two, and then another 16 to finish with a total of 40. Okay, now we're done our increases for the head. We are just going to SC around, just straight SC, one in each stitch for 40 stitches around five times. So for five rows, we're going to do this to just kind of fill out the main part of the head. We've done five rows of straight SC, and now we're going to start decreasing again. So we're going to do like we did with the increase, only we're going to put them together. So over the next two stitches, we're going to SC together. And we're going to do that one more time. So SC together. Then we're going to just do a single crochet for 16 stitches. And then we're going to SC together twice again. And then another 16 stitches. And that'll bring us to a total of 36 stitches. Okay, so this next row we are going to SC together over the next three here. So there's one SC together. Two SC together, and we're going to do three in total, and three, and then we're going to SC for 12 stitches, just straight single crochet for 12 stitches, and then we are going to repeat that pattern again with the three SC togethers and 12 stitches. And it will come out at a total of 30 stitches. The next round is going to be an SC together. Just one this time. And then three SC. We've made the head square enough. <laughs> kind of looking like a stewie from Family Guy head right now. And then again, just repeat that pattern around. SC together, and then three SC for a total of 24 stitches. We've got kind of a misshapen head here, but when we stuff it, it'll be nice and big like the LOL dolls. 
they are, after all, mostly just a giant face and little bodies. So that's what we're trying to replicate here. The next step is to SC together for first and then two SC now. One, two, and then repeat. One more decrease round and then we'll be at the neck. So we're going to SC together. And then one SC. And we're going to repeat that pattern around for 12 stitches. The fastening off, we are going to go right into the body of the doll all in one piece, but I would suggest that we start stuffing because it's going to get a little bit tricky once we keep going. So, and the reason we do the head this way instead of a straight kind of increase, decrease, round ball head is, I'm just going to detach this, it's because LOL dolls have big, big eyes that take up about three quarters of their face. And so we need the face a little bit wider than a round ball will uh, work. So in order to fit those big eyes on. So we've got it a little bit more oval this way. Can you see? More oval than, uh, than round. So we can fit those eyes on there. <laughs> there is a method to my madness. <laughs> but... If you're expecting just a straight ahead uh, ball, like for most dolls, then you might have been a little bit surprised with that, but there is reasoning behind there. So we're gonna stuff this pretty full because there are a lot of details we have to sew onto this. So we wanna make sure that it is pretty stiff and it'll even out all the lumps and clumps from our uh, decreases and increases. So push as much as you can in there and then we'll start again. We're going to start at the neck now. Oops, let me find my yarn again. I always like to take the hook off while I'm uh, stuffing just because it gets in the way. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to SC around for two rounds. So there'll be 12 stitches in each round and this will form the neck. We've done two rounds for the neck and now we're going to start increasing again. So we're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch. So one Two, and then one in the next stitch. And we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around for 18 stitches. The next row is simple. We're just going to put a single crochet stitch in every stitch around for 18 stitches. We're going to increase again by putting two SC in the first stitch. And then one SC in each of the next two stitches. One. Two. And then repeat that pattern. Now we're going to SC around for two rounds. So just simply put one single crochet in each stitch around and do that for two rounds of 24 stitches.
we're going to increase one more time by doing two single crochet in the first stitch one. two and then three single crochet in each and one uh, a single crochet in each of the next three stitches so two three then we're going to repeat that pattern this next round we will be working in the back loops only if you see here the back loops are the ones when you're holding it like this that are the farthest away the ones that are on the inside of our lol doll and we're going to sc around so we're just going to pick up that back loop instead of both loops when we do this that way we'll have the front loop showing and we can attach uh, shorts or a skirt or whatever we're doing with our lol doll later now you can see that little line right there that's where we'll attach shorts or skirts or whatever we need uh, the next round will just be in both loops again just SC around again for 30 stitches this next row will be the last row for the body and then we're going to move on to making the legs so we're going to decrease over the first two stitches here we're going to SC together and then we're going to put one single crochet in the next three stitches and we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around for 24 stitches if you haven't been stuffing as you go I would suggest you do that now because what we're going to do next is start the legs we're not going to fasten off what we're going to do instead is to SC at uh, up until the center back so remember our face was more oval this way so that we can fit two big eyes on there so it's a little bit more oval wider on the two sides and you'll notice that I'm pretty much in the center already of the back so I'm going to stay here and begin doing my stitching from here but if you aren't if you happen to be over here somewhere then just uh, put a couple single crochets in there until you get sort of to the center back all right so this sound this will sound a little bit crazy but bear with me we're going to make the first leg by skipping the first 12 stitches so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and this stitch right here we're going to SC into this will pull it together in order to make the first round of our leg you see that it's a little tricky and I'll take some pulling if you do it loosely we can always tighten it up later with a few stitches but there we go so now you'll see we kind of have this thing together like this And what we're going to do is SC around just this first round. So it'll be 12 stitches. One, two, the next row we're going to even pull closer by SCing two together one two here and then two SC around and it'll only be nine stitches remember to keep stuffing as you do these rounds 
the next thing we're going to do is just SC around for five rounds of nine stitches each to develop that leg just a little bit further. We've done our five rounds for the leg and now we are going to make sure it's stuffed so that we can decrease and make the foot. Well, we're not going to make a foot, we're just going to kind of end it off. And in a later video I might show you how to make some shoes <laughs> for an LOL doll. So, there we go. And now the next step is to SC together for one. And then one SC. And we're going to repeat that and it will equal six stitches. Now we're going to fasten off, leave some tail for sewing. And there we go. And we're just going to weave that around and close it off so that we can fi finish this one leg and move on to the next. The second leg we are just going to attach our yarn to an unworked stitch on this side and we're going to do the leg over again beginning at the SC12. Oops. If I can attach it properly that is. <laughs> Here we go. Let's try that again. All right. I'm just going to SC here instead. That'll work better. So 12 around, pulling it together. Don't worry if it doesn't pull quite together. We will sew that little bit in the middle up later. So 12 around. Now that we've got 12, we're going to SC together and to SC just like we did for the first leg for a total of nine stitches. And you can see there's a little bit there where it's not quite pulled together. I will uh, do that when we finish this leg. We'll uh, sew that up a bit. And just like before, we're going to SC around for five rounds of nine stitches each. I don't usually use a stitch marker for this. I just count 45 because I know it's nine stitches and five rows. If you haven't already at this point, we should make sure that our second leg is stuffed because we're going to do the final round and fast off. LOL doll, doll legs are super short. It's all about the face with those dolls. So the body and the uh, legs and the arms are just short little things. I like to stuff these pretty firmly so that if we want to stand the LOL doll up a bit. She'll stand or hill stand, depending on which one we're making. There we go. Okay. And then next we're going to do that final round, which is SC together, and then one SC three times for a total of six stitches. And again, we're going to fasten off. We're going to get a little bit of a longer tail this time because we're going to use it to sew up that middle kind of part there too. So we'll fasten off and attach our yarn needle here. We'll weave through 
the foot here. Kind of pull it tight. Put a few stitches in there to close it up so the stuffing doesn't leak through. There we go. And the good thing about having a little bit of a gap there in the legs is that if you didn't stuff enough, you have one last chance. <laughs> Although I feel kind of bad <laughs> stuffing through there, <laughs> his little butt. <laughs> well, anyway, then I'm just going to weave the thread through into the middle here to get it ready. And then I'm going to just use it to kind of weave through here and tighten this up a bit. Put a few stitches in there. Make sure all the stuffing is in. There we go. So we've got our little LOL there. As you can see. Pretty cute. Need some arms. <laughs> arms are next. In order to make the arms, again, we need the skin tone yarn. We're going to attach that to our hook. We are going to chain two. And put three single crochets in the second chain from the hook. Then we are going to double it. So the next row will be two SC in each stitch for a total of six stitches. Now we're going to SC around for two rounds for a total of six stitches each round. So I just normally count 12 stitches. You don't really need to stuff these arms. I find that just tucking that tail in there is enough stuffing for these arms. But if you'd like, you can stick a little yarn scrap or a little stuffing in there to make it a little more stiff. The next thing we're going to do is SC together once. which is super difficult when you're working with such small stitches here. And there's SC together one, and then we're going to SC for four. That will give us a total of five stitches. And to finish off the arm, we're just going to SC around for three more rounds of five stitches each, so for 15 stitches. At this point, we've got our entire arm here, so we're going to fasten off Leaving a little bit of a tail to sew the arm onto our doll. And we're going to make another just the same. Now we've got two arms here. One's looking a little fatter than the other because I did one looser. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> just have to kind of straighten them out. And you guessed it, we're going to sew them onto the doll sort of like this, right near the top of the neck here like that and there you have it you have a basic body for an lol replica kind of crochet doll here um i was going to include ears in the pattern but i realized that all of the hairstyles are wildly different so if i made the ears and you sewed them on they might not be in the exact placement you'll need after the hairstyle gets done. So we'll include uh, an ear pattern in each of the uh, different dolls that I'm going to do. So stay tuned next week. I will have Punk Boy up. Um, that's what this one is going to turn into. Um, I'm also planning on doing maybe Sleeping BB, maybe Sprints. If you have your favorite, let me know in the comments below. Um, like, comment below, subscribe. Uh, if you click the bell, you'll know right away when the actual patterns for the LOL um, accessories, the hair, the eyes, the you know, the clothing, all of that come out. Uh, the bell is helpful for that. <laughs> um, yeah, bye bye for now.
Thank you.